Hello YouTube. Well, it is sauerkraut day. Uh, as I promised you on the last video, we would show you. So, I'm going to show you a little sneak peek here. And I'll try to get the camera in the right position here. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it and show you what the finished product looks like. And here's our water bag, which I'm going to put this in here. It's just going to roll everywhere. And here's the two garbage bags and here is the press board and absolutely beautiful and there it is all finished and we're going to bag it up in Ziploc bags. I'm waiting for my friend to show up here and he does this every year with me when we bag it up. So uh, we're going to dump this out into that uh, big blue drink tub there and that's what we dish it out of because all the juice is at the bottom. And when you bag it up, you have to make sure you get so much juice in each bag or otherwise you're going to have a bunch of dry sauerkraut and all the liquid's going to remain at the bottom. So um, there it is. And it looks absolutely yummy. So. Uh, We'll keep you posted here and uh, we'll start bagging it up. We'll be with you here in a minute. Alrighty, we got the sauerkraut dumped out into the big old shredding tub that we use. So all we're gonna do, very simple. We use uh, just regular freezer bags and we're using quarts. Uh, you can use gallons, you can use whatever you want, but the bigger the bag, you know, unless you're gonna use it all at one time, it's kind of crazy. So basically, like I said, the, the juice we want to do is mix this up really good and get all that uh, stuff mixed up good with the juice. Because when you're done, you end up with, uh, oh, you could end up with a quart of juice. And that'd be some dry sauerkraut. Yeah, that's some good crap. And, and Bud, he, he's been my number one sauerkraut advocate. <laughs> so since the beginning of time. Yes, our cost been around. And how did they ever discover this, you know? Uh, how somebody could figure out how to put salt in cabbage and some smoked German, I guess. And let it uh But yeah, basically this is what we're gonna come up with. Little pouches, maybe a little bit more in there. We did wash your hands, we did sanitize this tub, and this is it. So we're gonna repeat this. Everything's primo, don't you worry about yeah. nothing. That's gonna be yes. all right. Everything yeah. We're going to repeat this process all probably another 30 times. And we're going to put them in a nice cooler and I'll put that in my big refrigerator. So that's basically it. So we'll talk to you here when we're done bagging this up. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we're done bagging her up. So we ended up with, uh, I think it was like 28 quart bags. And uh, this is just going to go inside of the cooler. And that's where it will sit. Uh, a little bit of upcoming videos here. I said we're going to get back in the wood shop. Well, that old house that we had been tearing down, my grandpa's old place, this was his original wine press here. And um, this, this is way, way older than me. It's probably over 100 years old. But I'm going to make all brand new wood for it and restore it back to its original glory. So that'll be one of the upcoming shop videos. And here's the carriage wheels. So they're all painted up, ready to go on to the, uh, to the old sawmill here. So, uh, and then here's that live edge uh, pine and some of that walnut. Um, so that, that's gonna be that bar top from our brother. Not sure when we're gonna get to that video because we got uh, all this stuff going on with this COVID, so. All right, that was just our short little video of the sauerkraut, so. Uh, I wish everybody could uh, taste and smell this. It was really, really good. So I will talk to you Saturday when I'm with the Eddie Horvath. I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.